Hello everyone. Um, today we are going to be discussing about the Banach Stefan Banach Scholarship, and I have with me here a colleague who was also a recipient of the Banach Scholarship. So please, can you kindly introduce yourself? Hello everyone. My name is Tinara. I'm from Kazakhstan, and I'm Banach Scholarship holder. Okay. Thank you. Then I would like to ask, how many times have you applied for the Banach Scholarship? Uh, only once, like one year ago, I applied for this scholarship. My sister found this scholarship for me, yeah. Okay. You applied just once, and what were the requirements when you applied then? Mm -hmm. The requirements, um, we should send the thesis and uh, it was also interview that time was the interview uh, that's all only two two requirements two requirements ah also uh, if you want to study in polish you should attach a certificate like certificate from polish and in that time ha i had a a0 a0 level certificate it was three three years three years ago i had this certificate and i attached it yeah but my sister also applied with me, but she couldn't. Uh, she couldn't get it. Yeah, get the scholarship. Oh, yeah, so. because of the thesis, I think. Yeah, she had okay. to the thesis. So, like, did you apply for to a university then? Mm, no, I didn't know that time. I didn't know that I have to. I I, I had to the apply to the university. I just like feel uh, this. Uh, this the normal form yeah, yeah this formal that's all that's all but when the results came out yeah you were told to yeah i was shocked actually because they said they sent me a mail that i should send them the acceptance letter from the university, university you yeah applied for. yeah so in that time i didn't <laughs> even to apply to the university so i just said that i want to take a preparatory course like Polish. So that means that you are going to study in Polish, and you are waiting like one more semester. That's like yeah, yeah. And actually, I also uh, in Telegram there is one channel, the Banach, the one channel, and I just follow uh, follow this channel. And I ac I asked um, the uh, students who are studying here. They said you should just take a preparatory course because it's. Uh, good it will be better for you because you will be learning the polish language yeah so that's why okay so what were the conditions for this qualification when you applied uh i think uh, you have to um uh, first cycle studies in the above mentioned files not earlier than in 20 2017. okay so then uh, but for this year it is now 2019 yeah so anybody having their document from like 2019 upward are eligible for this year but mm -hmm. doing last year it was like 2017 yes. okay um that's nice and then um how about those that could not provide like um a acceptance letter or for masters when they got the scholarship were they also disqualified like do they still have the scholarship uh, those that letter. couldn't get like acceptance letter from the ah, university yeah 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 actually my friend he's not studying in Wroclaw I also asked him uh, in that time he also he thought that if he applied this the, the Banach scholarship in that's all he thought that it's 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 all and but then the, the Banach like coordinators asked to him to send the, uh, them the acceptance letter in that time he didn't have the, this acceptance letter he just he started to find the universities and he found only one it was Wroclaw Politechnica yeah Wroclaw Politechnica and okay. yeah and he applied yeah and he applied and also the Wroclaw Politechnica there is no tuition fee it's eight so for the, yeah. for the course okay just for everyone to know there are some tuition free courses here although some might i know i think the um, right wealth require like exam entrance exam mm -hmm. i think that's the only difficulty there yeah like, but also he said that it was an interview interview, interview. Mm -hmm. interview. 
Yes. Okay. Yeah. And they asked about why you choose this uh, Poland, what you're gonna do in here, like, or what about your thesis? That's all. Okay. He said it was easy. Okay. That mm -hmm. was nice. So please, um, if you can risk it, you can wait till like you get the scholarship before you apply for the university. But I think it is kind of restricted for the kind of course that you are doing. If you are doing a course that is not like available, that is if you want to study in English. But if you want to study in Polish, then you have to like start the preparatory course. But one thing I want to be sure of, I, I'm not really sure of. I think when we have the next, like when I host the next webinar, I'm going to ask that question when I join in. Like, what if, for example, I'm from Nigeria, yeah, and we don't have anything Polish language. Yes, it's just English language. How about if I want to study in Polish and I don't have like a certificate of the Polish mm. proficiency. Can yeah. I still like say I want to study in Polish and I'll be eligible? I'm not sure, but I see you can. But I'm. Uh, it was in interview. They asked me, "Do you wanna take the preparatory course?" I said, "Yeah," because I wanna learn the Polish language. And said, "Okay, we will give you the preparatory course." Yeah, if you if you uh, don't have the certificate of Polish like me, but I. Actually, mine was on a zero level. It's yes, not. Zero. It's no level. It's <laughs> but, not at level. Least, <laughs> but at least there's still like a certificate. Yes, like, yes, <laughs> but it's a certificate. Yeah. <laughs> so I, s I went in the in the form. I chose the Polish language, not the English. Okay. But I also I attached the IELTS. My IELTS is IELTS. Uh, yes, yeah, for the English proficiency. Yeah, yeah. There is like two two languages, Polish or English. I choose. Uh, Polish instead that you wanted to study in Polish. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. Then I would ask what lessons have you learned that you think like would be beneficial for others that want to apply for the Banat scholarship? Mm -hmm. I see better start to now like to learn Polish from now in this summer and then uh, and I think just if you don't wanna uh, study, study in, in English okay. Oh, just uh, just the uh, preparatory course. Yeah, I mean like Polish, Polish language. Okay. <laughs> then you don't have to apply to any universities separately. Yeah. I just do. tell them it's Polish. But if you want to study in English, you have to like apply to universities. So for everyone, I'm going to like drop um, some links to some universities that are open now, like. Most preferably, I think in Poznan, we have yeah. two courses that are tuition free. That is horticulture and wood science. But the enrollment fee might now be the challenge. It is like 65 euros. I think that's on the high side. And I'm really concerned. And I think um, some courses in um, Warsaw, yes, I'm going to drop the link. It's like 20 euros. You have to just check it out. And I think so. If you are applying to like Polytechnica, Ratworth, I don't think they pay application fee, but you have to like do like interview or entrance exam, depending on your course, if it is like technology and all like that. Then um, the next question I would um, like to ask you, why do you consider like studying for masters in Polish? Okay. Uh, I uh, before I said, I'm, I'm from Kazakhstan. In, the, in Kazakhstan, the second language is the Russian. And Polish in Russian, it's like similar. Like, okay. yeah, it's, yeah, it's part of Slavic. Yeah, 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 part of Slavic. So for me, it's easier to understand Polish and to speak in Polish. And um, uh, because I, also I want to learn new language. It's my fourth language. So I thought, yeah, I decided to to choose the Polish. And I want to give a one tip. Okay. <laughs> I think for Nigeria it's better, better, really better to study in English because you can easily understand English, of course. The Polish is actually for me also hard. Like, 
when I'm uh, watching the YouTube channels, sometimes I couldn't understand because they has all like z, z, h, <laughs> ha, <laughs> the sounds it's really hard. And I think um, the first one you should choose the English. I mean, like uh, you should uh, uh, if you have the IELTS. Just uh, choose the English. If you don't have, just choose the Polish and prefer the course. Yeah, we have like a medium of instruction that mm -hmm. universities give, mm -hmm. especially in Nigeria. Okay, okay. So I think that one to it was asked in the webinar. It is quite by instead uh, of IELTS uh -huh. because if you are writing like IELTS exam in Nigeria, it's kind of like expensive. It's like um some fifty twenty. Mm, yeah. and it's like on the other side for us oh because for like the average citizen i think for me then it was expensive for me so oh. i'm thinking for most people that were like me then yes so the medium of instruction would be quite good so what are like further advice that you give for people so that they can be chosen for this scholarship so that they can be qualified and so that they can win the scholarship what's are your advice for applicants, those that are applying? And this year, only the things like GPA and yeah, what? GPA and recommendation, recommendation letters. letters. Yeah, not like mine was interview like about thesis. I was the thesis and also they asked uh, about this thesis. Yeah, not like this. Only GPA and recommendation letter and uh, what else? Just the two. Yeah. Yeah, it's quite okay. It's quite okay. Yeah. So uh, I think the better if you can find the without tuition fee at the university, just apply now and then. Ah, maybe if you will um, have this scholarship, you can I think then the ne you can start your master degree next year. I'm not sure like for February section. Yes, mine yeah, was like some. this. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Uh, yes, that's true because when you do another semester, you are going to start mm -hmm. in February. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you need to be sure of the university you are going. And I think in the next webinar that Nava is going to host, we are going to ask that question too. Like, what if you get the scholarship and you are waiting to like February section? Because I know many people would not want to like risk applying and paying application fee to mm -hmm. the universities mm -hmm. and not winning the scholarship uh, you understand yeah, 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 it's yeah. like losing on both yes, sides of course. your money because to process visa and or over here it's kind of yeah, expensive, kind of expensive, expensive yeah. of so we are going to ask if um people can actually like you can still be eligible for the scholarship even without like admission for the winter section but you would resume for the summer section i think that's what we need to work on i wish you all the best in the in your application and dinner thank you very much thank you <laughs> yes um goodbye to every one of you if you have a comment kindly drop or if you have further questions kindly drop so thank yeah. you very thank much you. see you all next time bye, bye. <laughs>